Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, if you uh, follow my channel, I talked about a uh, scareware blocker, an AI scareware blocker that would come to Microsoft Edge. And it has, and the latest update that we had last week, we uh, finally have it in Microsoft Edge. And it's on by default. So once again, what is that? Uh, well, you might come to a web page and that web page might actually um, pop up something like, oh, uh, your PC is compromised. Uh, please call this number. Uh, and, uh, you know, some are saying, well, you know, we're Microsoft and we think your PC is infected. And you have all of these fake, you know, scans going on, which are actually doing nothing. It's just like, you know, a demonstration of what a scan looks like. So a lot of people get scared with that. So this is what Scareware is all about, having some pop-up, some web page that uh, is compromised, and then you see something happen that tries to make you think that something's wrong with your PC. Now, the new version of Edge has the Scareware blocker, which is AI-driven, and what it does is part of it is it knows the most popular ones, but the AI part of it here um, is the part where it actually will analyze the page and pop up a or block it or pop up a message says, you know, something, uh, I think this page is fake. I think this is not a real, you know, uh, page or it's trying to lure you into something that's bad. So if you go into the upper right corner in the three horizontal dots and go into your settings, Go on the, right, uh, the left side, sorry, Privacy Search and Services. If you go down this list, you will have a, in the Security tab, Scareware Blocker. It's in Preview Mode. You can actually learn more about it uh, by clicking Learn More. And it's on by default now, which means that now every page is going to be analyzed to make sure it doesn't contain such bad uh, scareware in it. Um, unfortunately, lots of pages are affected. Sometimes pages that are, you know, innocent pages that actually are not bad, but because the websites have not been uh, updated, you know, sometimes some of the pages uh, are made in such a way and haven't been, you know, modified in a long time that some of the scripts and some of the pages themselves have um, security problems, which means that bad guys inject the, um, you know, code in it to try to infect you or get scareware going. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it has to do with a lot of pages that have been, you know, not really taken care of properly. So uh, Scareware Blocker, I think, is a good thing because a lot of people get caught by these. Uh, as a tech guy, I don't know how many times I had to go and not only kind of, you know, help out, but reassure people that, no, no, this is fake. Don't don't worry about it. Uh, it's This is not real. So uh, Scareware Blocker is now there in Microsoft Edge, which is a good idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.